Oh, yeah. You locked in to bring your A-game radio, CIUT 89.5 FM. I go by the name of Dynamic, a.k.a. your favorite light skin. Big things happening every single Monday from 10 p.m. until midnight. We always play nothing but the best in Canadian hip-hop, reggae, and R&B. If you've been liking the show, you can log on to bringyourAgame.com. And every single week, we upload each episode. So if you missed out, you know, shame on you. We had an interview with Ultra Magnus a little earlier. But right now, we have in studio, man, the one day. Yo, first off, th- this man is referred to as one of the hardest working rappers in Canada. I'm not even going to say referred to. He is uh, probably the hardest working rapper in Canada. Uh, definitely uh, always on the roads, you know what I mean, doing the tour stuff and bringing some uh, huge artists across the border down here to work too and, uh, and kill off some dope performances. He's always a... Uh, working on some new music and peter jackson has worked with the likes of artists such as french montana uh juicy j waka flaka jada kiss machine gun kelly wu-tang clan akon snoop Dogg. i could go on and on the man's been working with enough legends in the game and uh right now the man has the number one i'm saying the number one single in canada for recorded sales on sam scan this week and we got the one they call peter jackson in the studio with us right now peter jackson how you doing sir i'm good my brother how are you man this is this is big for me so uh We've done interviews before First mm-hmm. off To let the people know You know what yeah. I mean This is not our first time uh, Dabbling on the interview Side of things uh, we, we did our interview You know on Hip Hop Canada It was like a, It was like Sort of a write up article Yeah We've done some uh, interviews On Bring Your A Game to Blog Before yeah. the radio show We did a video uh, Interview And that's still up On Bring Your A Game On the YouTube channel People that's can check up. that out And then now We're doing it on the radio So this yeah. is huge man Three times And you know Sometimes they say Three three things happen And that's a good thing Sometimes yeah, You know what nah, I mean it's, it's, it's evolution it's, it's the way that things Things are evolving, you know. It's a good look for everybody. Big man, you got so much stuff happening too. Uh, I, I don't even know where to start, but let's <laughs> let's talk about um, the album uh, with with Brooklyn and uh, so. L- what was the title of the project? And let the people know, uh, you know, R.I.P. to Brooklyn. But let the people know about that situation. Yeah, um, me and my brother Brooke put an album out together March 31st. Uh, it came out independently. The two of us, we we've been working on it literally about. Probably for like three years We recorded most of the joints When he stayed up here in um, Toronto with me We okay. recorded a bunch of the stuff At one of my studios right. We actually did like 36 Like 40 records or something together Crazy When he was down here But then um, both of us are so busy And everything kind of just kept getting pushed And then we had that single with Raekwon off the album Right And I was literally making both of us wait To shoot the video Right Cause I had um, I had Ray coming back up here to do something, so I just told him, "Wait, you know, hold on, let's do this." Yeah. And then you know the tragic passing and everything that happened kind of kicked things in the in the high gear for me because it was like with him, he was always bugging me like, "Yo, P, this needs to come out." Like, right. you know, you're playing yourself. Like, you don't know what I have going on over here, and you got all this going on over here. Let's get it done. Before we need to get this moving, right. you know. And I mean, for people that don't know, and I mean, most people do if they pay attention in Canada, but. These guys are ten thousand dollars a night for a show, and they're Canadian artists. And like that's, yeah, it, that's not heard of. What what, what crew does uh, does Brooklyn come from for the people? Um, he them? started with Winnipeg's Most, right? Which is him, John C, and Charlie Feta, and they had Heat Bag Records, and then he's got YSMG, right? Which is Brooklyn's like label, and Brooklyn got a bunch of artists: Finale, uh, Iliano, um, Brooks' mom's running it right now, um, and with with a lot of help, but. It's with, moving with the uh, sales from the, the project. I, I I remember reading something about you were giving them away. Uh, yeah, a hundred percent of the, the proceeds are going to his estate for his kids. Okay, he's got five kids, so um, him and his his mom was instrumental in putting it all together with me. I mean, the records were almost done. Everything was almost done, but you know, the so can the the registration, the the splits on the beats, the the manufacturing of the albums, right. the. You know, hard copies that went to certain stores and stuff like you know. I see the process with you with the compilation. Right. It's the same thing. There was a lot of business to handle behind, behind the scenes. It, yeah. So uh, it took a minute, but we got it right. You mind me asking what happened? Like what, what happened? How did he pass away? Uh, nah. I mean, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. No, 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 fair enough. That's cool. Yeah, I, nah. I it's more for, for me when it comes to him is I, you know, that's that's not my side to talk about things, yeah. but more or less just just remember him and. and in the right light And do things the correct way You know yeah, probably. And just carry his name uh, If people want to get the album Where can they find uh, that album uh, Two Sides to a Story Is on iTunes um, It's on Google Play Xbox Spotify Tidal 
Um, we got hard copies in like four or five stores in Winnipeg. Okay. And a bunch of mom and pop shops around here too. Proper man, we we got so much to talk about uh, and so little time. So let's get to, let's get into some music because that's what it's all about on Bring A Game Radio. Uh, we got this track with with Riff Raff man that we're gonna mm-hmm. get into the Godly Joint. We posted up uh, the video up on Appreciate Bring A Game blog. Yeah, when you dropped that, that was a proper video too. And uh, so so how did you link with Riff Raff man? Is that from the tour and stuff? Or? Uh, yeah, I mean Riff Raff was here a couple years ago. He was coming down for I think it was a big festival. And I ended up doing a record called Prom Night with him. So we were in the studio together. We recorded that. And then we kind of just kept in touch. Right. So every time they were back in the city or tours or anything, we did a couple shows together. I did um, that that big tour, um, Warp Tour. Right. I, I performed a Warp Tour with them. And um, basically just, yeah, just a connection. We've just been, you know, we've been around each other a lot. So Godly just made sense. We had a, we had a great sponsor, do some great things. And, Made that happen. Let's do this, man. Godly, bring your A-game radio. C-I-U-T, 89.5 FM DJ Sam. Drop that for the people one time. Let's go, yo. Peter Jackson's in the studio, yo. Bitch. What's poppin'? It's your boy Peter Jackson, and right now you are tuned in to Bring Your A-Game Radio with DJ Slam, Amanda the Social Media Queen, and your favorite light skin. You know what it is. C-I-U-T, 89.5 FM. Bring Your A-Game Radio. Year. I know what it is, you know what I mean? Now Peter Jackson knows what it is. Y'all know what it is. It's happening in big ways, you know what I'm saying? Every single Monday from 10 p.m. until midnight. And tonight we got Peter Jackson in the studio holding it down with us. And the man doesn't have to be holding it down here, uh, you know what I'm saying, in the studio with us. He has so much uh, happening right now. Uh, so, we, you know, we, we appreciate you coming through. You I know appreciate what I mean? the interview, my brother. Big things. And uh, let's talk about this the single, man, this this Rap City yeah. joint. That's tough. The, the news today are the sound scan numbers, like... Honestly, like I promote everything and we weren't even promoting selling that record. Right. That's the craziest thing. That we literally sold like 3,000 units in like six days and we didn't even tell anybody it was for sale. It's just the way that, I guess it's the magnitude of, you know, it being on Sportsnet or right, right. there's certain people that are giving it light that it just moves like that, you know, in right. comparison to we're force feeding the stuff and it ain't moving like that. Smart man. <laughs> yeah, nah, it worked out, yeah. Um, of, course you, of course you went into it that way, uh, sort of uh, assuming that it was going to get that kind of uh, love and, and, and play. Uh, but but is that something, did you make the joint like prior to and then decide you're going to do it or you kind of? Yeah, I mean, um, me and my brother, Dames Nellis, we spoke about it. I mean, I've done it the last two years too. I really love the Raptors like that. Like, yeah. I, I, I'm really into that kind of stuff. So, I mean... I didn't do it with the intention of anything happening. I mean, I know something's going to happen, but at the end of the day, I'm doing it just because it's it's a, it's, it's a feeling. It's a, it's a record I want to do. Like, I'm doing it for us. Yeah. For when I say us, I mean my people and stuff, right? So there's no there was no intention of, you know, Sportsnet was going to do the video for it and direct it, and right. Tim and Sid were going to take to it the way they did, or, you know... Uh, Four Corners, you know, he's the Raptors DJ. He ain't, he ain't obligated to play the record during yeah. the games, but he's playing the yeah. record during the game. No, but when you make when you make um, you know records of that magnitude, it's something that it, it has to happen. You know what I mean? And I think the city needs it too. The yeah. country needs it. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, hundred percent. It's a, it's a good thing in a proper time to, to drop an anthem like that. So salute yeah. to you for that. Uh, so you, the response must be crazy then. Like aside from you know the media taking it and stuff, like just mm. like are you finding new fans and stuff already. Yeah, definitely. That? We printed forty thousand um, copies. Of uh, just hard copies of the CD. Okay. So we had people down at all the games in Jurassic Park handing inside the stadium handing Probably. them out. So a lot of that stuff, like I mean, it it, it resonates well. It's something that yeah. we all have in common, right? I think every time that you drop a project or you have a show, you always have the street team. Um, you know, I mean, dropping things out. So yeah, shout out to Royals promo, man. That's that's the street team. How important do you feel it is to have that street team? Because a lot of artists don't don't do that anymore. There's nothing more important. Like realistically, like, I mean, the Facebook and the Instagram and the Twitter and everything. Mm-hmm. It's dope, it's hype, but um, a lot of times it's just hype. Right. So to be able to go out and touch, you know, have a product you could touch or have people you could see or, you know, those things like you say, it's you're happy that I'm here. Well, I'm happy I'm here. Right, right, right. Because these are the things that we all need to do all for the sure. time. For sure. You know, and people don't do it enough. Cool. Uh, another light skin, we're going to take a picture after, mm-hmm. but another light skin you took a picture with recently is that <laughs> the one they call Drake. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've seen that and. Um, I was wondering where you were going with that. <laughs> You know, I'm I'm your favorite light skin. You know what yeah. I mean? But uh, but yeah, you took a picture with Drake recently. I guess it was um, was it after a game? Yeah, back um backstage. Uh, well, not backstage, but 
where the dressing rooms and locker rooms are for the basketball. So how cool are you with him? Are you uh, like, I mean, you guys talking about doing some records in the future? Or? Nah, we don't talk like that. I mean, he shows me super amounts of love. Every time we see each other, we're in the same place a lot. Mm. You know, we always go out of our way to say what up and stuff, but right. we, we don't have no records. He, sh he should be doing the remix That's of that Raptors record. I was just about to say that. That's, uh, Bro, so you and me both. There you go. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's hold on. Bring this uh, Drake, if you're out there listening, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if anybody out there knows and get this to, to Drake, let him yeah. know. You know what I mean? You need to be on that remix. It's going to be big for the city man that, that would be huge uh, yeah it would be and uh dope vibes i think man so okay so you got you got the the actually before we move on mm. drake drops that it just dropped his album cover recently what do you think about that that, yeah. uh, that album cover it's been it's been on everybody's instagram today so it works he's a smart man i think he did it purposely so everybody would make like fun of a fun of the the, the album cover yeah but even memes or memes memes or whatever they're called yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> I don't make them so. Yeah, I mean, we, got, uh, we got some Peter Jackson memes going on yeah, out there, yeah. Huh? <laughs> I mean, that stuff's not always a bad thing. Yeah. So to to see what he did, I saw that people were putting, you know, the Degrassi pictures up, yeah, or yeah. other other artists and other people. I think he did it purposely. Yeah. He, he did it. He's he's always doing. So I think you got right you there. got new singles that you're working on too. Um, yeah, I got um I got three singles in the bag right now that that we're literally shopping. Um, and and that's a little bit different for us. Like like we're taking meetings here right. in the states, and we're literally sitting on these three records because we're waiting for the clearance on them, and they're bigger records than I've ever had before. So it's like I don't even know how to how to address it at this point. It's like we need the right situation, mm -hmm. so we're not letting go of what we have right now until right. we have the right situation. Because they'll be timeless records. It don't matter if they come out today. Or two years from now, they'll be right. Yeah. So you tour a lot um, in, in Canada, but do you, do you ever cross the border? Do you go across the states? Or? You, you ever cross the border and go across over? To yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, you cut out there for yeah, a second. Sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, we do. I do a lot of stuff in Jamaica. Um, I do a lot of stuff over in Jamaica, and I do a lot of stuff in New York. Um, we haven't toured. We haven't done a full tour in the states or nothing yet. But the right opportunity, we we. You know, a few runs have come up, but when the right opportunity comes up, we'll go over. And the Europe side, I think you would do uh, you would do really well out there. Uh, yeah, you see well out in the Europe. I side. missed out. Well, I didn't miss out, but I had an opportunity to go to Europe, and I had my when my daughter was born. Right. So I, I made the decision to to not get killed by my wife. <laughs> and stay. No, family's important yeah. first, man. Super family always. First. Yeah, All you're a good dad, man. I see that. Uh, much of the same to you, brother. Uh, you, you, is it, is it uh, just the one, the one, the one you know? You're working on the second one, right? She, yeah, is, yeah, the yeah, second one's on the way. That's what I thought I saw too. Congrats yeah, yeah, yeah. on that, brother. Thank you, that's brother. huge, man. Uh, let's get into uh, a record right, right right now. What do we what do we got lined up? Any anything from? Uh, we got the Rap City joint. Yeah, why not? The Rap City yeah, joint. Perfect. I think DJ Sam's smart man. Let's drop that Rap City joint for the people. This is featuring uh, Michael May. Michael Mazi. Mazi, perfect. Yeah. I'm going to learn how to pronounce this. We can play that all the time. <laughs> yeah. Bring your game radio, CIUT 89.5 FM. DJ Sam, drop that for the people. He's not a DJ. He's your host, your favorite light skin on Bring Your A Game Radio. Oh, yeah, that's right. You locked in to Bring Your A Game Radio, CIUT 89.5 FM. And if you didn't know, we have the one in the studio with the with the number one single in Canada for recorded sales on SoundScan this week. He goes by the name of Peter Jackson. Uh, Peter Jackson, how you doing, man? That sounds good. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't it, man? I'm, I'm yeah, it sounds up all nice. time. That's, you, that's huge for you, man. And Thank um, you, yeah, it, it's a Canadian grind. So uh, mm -hmm. from one artist to another, salute on that. You know what I mean? Because it's you. hard to do that in Canada. So yeah, uh, for you to be able to achieve those things, and I'm sure that's that's just a start of yeah. uh, many big things to happen. You know what I mean? Um, Appreciate it. So so I always try to ask this to whoever's in the studio: uh, How you enjoying the vibe of the the, the show so far? It's Not dope, me. man. It's on point. It's, it's it's definitely an outlet that needs to be taken advantage of. Probably. You know, much appreciated by, that by was, myself and by everybody else. I just needed that little snippet there. <laughs> that Peter Jackson says that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, the Mob Deep uh, tour that you're working on. Let's talk a bit about that, man. Yeah, I actually just got an email about. I guess it's actually I haven't checked my email in hours, so it was about four hours ago. But mm. they crossed the border. They're into the country. Huge. Um, they're in Quebec City tonight. Huge. Um, Montreal tomorrow. Um, and then we got Windsor, Oshawa on Thursday. Okay, it's a whole bunch of dates, man. So it's the second time around. We had um, we got Mob Deep in the country last year to come tour. Um, my company and I'm working with uh, International Touring Agency. So all my all my bookings are going through them now. What made you start uh, doing this whole like touring thing? Because it's a smart it's a smart avenue to take. 
Um, my old manager, my first manager, my first manager was a booking agent. Okay. Super smart dude, and, and kind of showed me, you know, a lot of that stuff. And right. at the end of the day, too, it's like he created a lot of opportunities for me. But right. um, people aren't always trying to create opportunities for people, so we started creating our own. And you know, we control the bag. Yeah. If that makes sense. No, no, no. I mean, it, it's, but it's smart, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, from, yeah, yeah, from yeah. a standpoint, and then you get to go on the tour, and you know, yeah, and if it fits, promote your stuff. If it right fits, yeah. Time, either so. me or like you know, the ICP tour is coming. Insane Clown Posse ain't been here in I think something like eighteen years. Yeah. Uh, it's more Zaz's lane. Zaz is one of the artists I work with, so. Okay. It's dope to be able to do that because, like, to be honest with you, he should be the one on that tour. Right. Whether I knew him or not or whether it was me or my company or anybody, like, that's who should be on that. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of times that doesn't get to happen. Yeah. Just because you're supposed to be or should be somewhere doesn't mean you're going to be there. If, if you ever need, like, a host for the night, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, Your favorite yeah. light skin be in the spot and DJ yeah. Sam be like, you know. <laughs> He's dope, man. I like listening to DJs that actually Yo, cut thing, and scratch. Right? And, that's probably Yeah, no, nah, that's dope. Uh, okay, so... Where can people get in touch with you online first off if they want um, to you know, follow you? Instagram and Twitter, both Peter Jackson905. Uh, websites Peter Jackson uh, music.ca slash store. So stay on that part of the website. Um, and then Facebook, Peter Jackson Music. I'm, I'm very accessible, man. I answer everything as much as possible. And speaking about tours, you, you, you also have something in the works with, with TI. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah, it's crazy, man. When's that happening? Um, summer. Summer, Summertime, summer, summer. So yeah. when you got like those guests, like VIP passes for like you, media, man. like I got you. I got, I got like, tickets you know. right here for you for some other stuff too. <laughs> Proper, man. Big thanks. Yeah. Let's get into uh, this last record from Peter Jackson. Uh, this is this is an older one, but it, it's still a, a heavy joint. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? So we're going to drop it. Uh, let's talk a bit, a bit about how this record came about. Um, me, I got a, I got a good, uh, I got a good relationship with Waka and Waka's team. So basically, I actually had Tiger on this record first. Huge. And uh, we took him off. Because Why? What happened? Just the, the the amount of money they wanted for the video after they already gave yeah, like they yeah, gave yeah. me the verse. Right. I didn't even like the record was done and he jumped on it. Right. But then he, uh, Julius Irving's son was his manager or something. Okay. I'm only speaking on it because <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah. can see that I'm bothered by my face. Well, sure. But uh, they wanted like 50k. For him to be in the video So we were like Alright see you later yeah, yeah yeah And then we spoke to Walk And we have like We had a good relationship with him So right. they did the record They jumped on it We told him we need to go to Havana We need to go to Miami right. They did everything I think it us. made more sense To have Walk on to join anyway It fit At the end of the day It fit and it worked So And you know To be honest with you It's not always about a bag of money Like we could have gave Tiger that money right. But it didn't make sense Because he wasn't really involved Like he, he didn't oh, yeah. care Yeah he just so, about them. He was just trying to get The, the yeah, paycheck I'm, That's I'm, it yeah, I'm not trying to do that. So, way, you know, them kind of things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Peter Jackson in the studio. Big things going down, man. Thank you for coming through. Thank you. Really brother. appreciate it. Appreciate and uh, you guys. we're gonna keep the record spinning. You know, what I mean, just send us the clean records. You know, that's all we need. You know, we got enough clean records from you, but we need more. Uh, bring your A game radio. Ciut eighty nine point five FM. DJ Slam, please drop the next record uh, for the people out there. This one is called Havana, featuring Waka Flocka. Yo, and Peter Jackson once again, man. Thank you for coming through. Thank man. you guys, man. Big things happening. <laughs> What's poppin'? It's your boy Peter Jackson, and right now you are tuned in to Bring Your A Game Radio with DJ Slam, Amanda the Social Media Queen, and your favorite light skin. You know what it is, C-I-U-T-89.5 FM, Bring Your A Game Radio. Year. <laughs> Big things happened. I was just like so caught off guard because Peter Jackson just uh, <laughs> literally like, he was like Santa Claus up in here right now. Uh, with all these with the, all these projects and this is proper like literally like some people come by you know uh -huh. give us the one cd yeah you know this guy came through and gave the whole catalog yeah, nah, that, <laughs> almost, yeah, yeah almost almost the whole catalog almost, almost. but um no this is heavy man and, and uh dj sam's gonna take these home and put them in the system so we can you know what i mean keep pumping them on the show that's proper yeah that's so, the first that's the first record right there that's that's my first album the in my life right yeah that joint's crazy huge and you did like uh like a whole bunch of like video vlogs and stuff like yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, around in this i remember yeah. that too uh and then we got the two sides to a story to for you know from you in brooklyn yeah and then uh man some singles like you know the godly uh from you and riff raff yeah uh this mind blown record yeah that's Ace Hood and jay vado yeah that, that, Yo, that's, man, that's a crazy he, record just dropping gems everywhere yeah this is huge man consistency so, is key brother you, you're always welcome on the show now it's official <laughs> like not that you weren't before but yeah, now man, for sure you know now but, for you, sure. But, but now you, every time you come you gotta come with something now nah, i got you, you know what i mean i'm like uh, that 
but, but what I want to talk about before we end off the show is, is also these other amazing things that you just put in our hands. Uh, some tickets yeah. to the Noriega uh, show happening Sunday, May 22nd uh, at the Music Hall. And uh, let's let's talk a bit about this. Like, uh, what, how did you how did how did this all come about? It was um, just another thing. My company, yeah, my company um, now Nichols working with international touring agency, and we're bringing Noriega down to do an Eastern Canada tour. He doing about 15 joints across Canada uh, with Son of Mary. Uh, artist from the East Coast. We've done a couple. We put him on a couple tours. The kids, kids, dope, and he's a, he's real, um, he's real professional. So we've been uh, working with him, and then Noriega, just somebody, you know, he's got it. He's moving right now. Yeah, his stuff's moving well. So it'll be a good show. So uh, can we give away uh, two tickets yeah. to, to the listeners tonight? Definitely, definitely. Um, and do. We're, we're at the end of the show, but if you can uh, give us a call before uh, midnight at four one six. Nine four six seven thousand. What do we? What do we gotta? What do they gotta do yeah. uh, to to win these two? So it's happening in Oshawa. Yeah, Oshawa at May the 20, music hall. Yeah, at the music hall. Newly renovated, new owners. Everything we twenty dollars admission to get in. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Or you could get two free tickets if you can call in and tell us where it's happening. You know what I mean? There you go. Uh, you know where, where's it? Where's it going down? So four one six nine four six seven thousand. If you're out there, you want to win yourself two pairs, uh, uh, not two pairs, one pair of tickets. Yeah. I ain't giving away this whole. <laughs> <laughs> we going to the show too. Don't we? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but if you want to win yourself some tickets, give us a call four one six nine four six seven thousand, or we'll give you the chance if uh, if you don't get to it. Uh, before the end of the show, you can hit us up on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook at Bring Your A Game. That's Y A E H. Bring Your A Game. Let us know that you want uh, that pair, that tickets, not the pair. I tell them the pair of the one ticket. You know, the two, <laughs> the one in my hand. I'm gonna give just the two. Uh, big thanks, Peter Jackson. Thank you once again. Thank you for guys, all man. you do, man, it. and uh, it's much appreciated, man. The That's Canadian fair. scene definitely appreciates it too. Man. Thank you. Uh, bring your A game radio. See that so you ain't getting. Let me give those to my family. Stop calling. Why you call? I was trying to give it hey, away to man. my family and stuff. No, everybody, play. everybody likes free things. <laughs> Big things, man. Let's do this. Uh, we got, we got. What, what do we got? Fill my pain joint. We could do it. It's so can week this week. Uh, uh-huh. By the way, so all the joints we were playing, I know that you registered for so yeah. can. So you definitely tell them cut my check. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm like, yo, I got, I, I got to get my spin in there. So we're gonna end off the show uh, with one of my joints. It's called Feel My Pain. Bring your A-game radio, CIUT 89.5 FM. We will talk to you next week, Monday, 10 p.m. until midnight. We out. Peace.